The poem that we will be discussing is The Innocence of Solomon, written by a Filipino writer and journalist, Nick Joaquin. We will be discussing two different interpretations of this poem, the first being simplified for younger viewers to relate to, and the second being the biblical connotation more relatable to adults. But first, here is a little bit of background information about the author. Nicomedes Joaquin, or also known as Nick Joaquin, commonly presents the Filipino heritage among his works. He started as a proofreader in the Philippines Free Press and later became a contributing editor under the pseudonym Quijano de Manila. The poem talks about a guy we assume is named Solomon, but let's call him Sol for short. Sol is depicted as someone who is innocent and curious, having been exposed to different kinds of explicit imagery from shows, movies, or social media. He eventually sought to feel his carnal pleasure as well. He was eager to satisfy his curiosity. So, Saul went out and explored ways to satisfy his earthly cravings. He met different women and this corrupted him. Despite the nagging feeling due to doing a sinful act, Saul ignored his conscience. He turned back to what he knew was right because of his thirst for knowledge and experience. However, he soon came to realize that what he was doing was wrong, and the happiness and satisfaction he feels was just temporary. It was at this point that he came to realize the irreversibility of his actions. He regretted what he had done and wished to go back to being innocent. But to no avail, he can never go back for his body begs for an unquenchable thirst. His mind wants to be young and innocent again, yet it won't let him due to past actions. In the end, all he could ever do is end all connections to his bitter past and close the door for any more wrongdoings. <laughs>